In this video, I want to show you how you can use the new Spark Lines feature in Power BI. We're gonna go through how to use it and customize it, and also why you should use it in the first place. All of that and more, so without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan, and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So what are sparklines and why should you use them in the first place? So sparklines are like mini versions of your charts that allows you to see general trend across multiple categories in one view. And let me show you a scenario in which using sparklines would be really helpful. So here I've created a very simple Power BI report that just visualizes total sales across different types of products across a period of time. I've created a couple of visuals here just to show you what I want to go through, uh, such as these cards that just shows the total sales and quantity, but also the total sales across a period of time and total sales against category. Now at the moment, this chart total sales by year of month shows us the sales trends of all our products across a period of time. And if we want to see the total sales by category, we know that if we use and add the category name into a slicer like this, for example, if you select beverages, for example, that will give you the total sales over time, but only for that category, which in this case, is beverages. However, with this specific requirement that we've got, we want to show the trends across all these categories side by side as an overview. So we're not interested in seeing each category one by one by itself. We want to see it in context with all the other categories that we have. So this is essentially where sparklines can come in. So let's create a new page here and let's drag in the categories and the total sales that we've created. So it just gives us a summary of all of those categories and the total sales for those different categories. To add a sparkline is pretty simple. You just simply right click on any of the values that you have in your table or matrix view, click add a sparkline. And this will open up a dialog box that allows you to sort of customize the sparkline that you want to add. So we'll give you a couple of options. We right click on the total sales column. So it's already pre-filled the Y axis for us. And the X axis is simply the um, range that you want to have in your X axis, which is at this point is just the calendar table that we have here. So we want to show the year month, for example. And if you hit create, you'll see that it creates a column of sparkline for us giving us the total sales across the different categories. And see how simple it is to add a spark line in your Power BI report. So with just a couple of clicks, we are able to visualize the total sales trend across the different categories that we have within our total sales. Now, because the spark line is pretty much a column in our table or our matrix, you can even have multiple spark lines in the same visual. So let's try to add one more here. So another way to add a sparkline is if you go insert, add a sparkline here. And from here we can choose, you know, other things to visualize. So let's, in this case, choose to visualize the, uh, let's see, the quantity. So let's just show the quantity here. Now, because we chose a column to show in our Y axis instead of a measure, this means that we can change the summarization type of this column. So in this case, we want to just sum the quantity, but obviously you can change it to average, minimum, maximum, or count, however you want to show your values. And in this case, we're gonna choose the same thing for our x-axis, just the year month. If you hit create, and there you go. So this spark line now gives you the quantity of sales, for those categories by year month. Individual sparklines can be customized. So for example, here in this table visual that we have, if you go to format pane, you'll see this option sparklines that allows you to customize the sparklines that you've added in this visual. So first you choose which spark line you want to modify. 
So for example, let's change the quantity uh, here. We change this chart type into a column. So we want to show the volume We're using a column. You can change, let's say the color and that's it. So for total sales, um, we can keep that as a line chart, for example, but you can add other things with this, such as markers, for example. Um, and you can even have uh, markers that you want to highlight in this spark line. So for example, like the easiest one that you probably will find that is useful is the highest and the lowest. So mark you which part or, you know, whereabouts in this trend did you have the highest or, you know, lowest sales. You can change the marker colors. And there you go. There are a few limitations to bear in mind when using spark lines though. So for example, you can only have five spark lines per visual and each spark line columns can only have up to 52 points per spark line. So if you have more than that, for example, it won't be able to handle that much. And if you're using spark lines for matrices, there is a 20 column limit regardless of how many spark lines you have in the matrix. So just bear that in mind if you're using spark lines for bigger category numbers. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to start using the new spark lines feature that was released in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for our next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.